Welcome to Create with Jake. Welcome to Create with Jake. I'm Jake, and this week I've been commissioned to draw another dog, but this time it's a boxer. Again, I'll be using my Fiber Castell Polychromos pencils, but first I need to create an outline. Now, this takes time to get everything exactly how you need it. So, what I've done is I've done it prior to filming, and here it is. Now, to stop all the pencils merging with the HP pencil, which is not good for those lighter colours, we need to rub it out just enough so we can still see it, but not so it mixes with the other colours. Always make sure you can see your reference piece. I have mine on the screen in front of me. From there, you can zoom in and out at those very difficult parts. With these pencils, you need to know how they blend and don't be afraid to rub out along the way. Now I'm right-handed, so I go from top left to bottom right. But sometimes I use a piece of paper to lean on if I need to lean on a part that I've already done. Now, there's no right way to do this. It's whatever works for you to get the desired effect and it's all trial and error. So just work your way through your chosen piece. If you are going to do a background, is it going to be as sharp as the picture, a little bit blurry, or is it just going to fade out? Is it going to carry on the story of your picture, or is it just going to be one bulk colour? For this piece, I need to do an actual picture, not as sharp, but just blurry enough so the boxer sticks out. Now that the piece is done, I take an acrylic painter pen, it's a bit like a Tipex, just to highlight a few places, like the eyes, the tip of the nose, and any other part that hits the light. And there we have it, the commission is complete. One boxer dog on a sofa. Please remember, if you would like your own commission piece done, it doesn't matter what it is, but obviously the more intricate and the longer it takes will obviously affect the price, then please message me on my Facebook or Instagram. I also have an ever-growing Etsy shop where you pay for your copy of previous pieces I've done. You download it, print it off, or use it as a screensaver. 
and from time to time original pieces will be sold but I'll let you know in advance before uploading any of it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos or even comment down below just to say hello or if you have a question you'd like me to answer or just to give some constructive criticism as I'm forever learning with different projects I do. Anyway, ramble over, thank you for watching.